Hello, helpful programmer here. It's all about making my own game to show you what you can do with Dark GDK, and I've called it Hand Drawn Herald. It's sort of a platform based two player game, and you can move objects around the world. It's going through development stages, but I wanted to go and show you what I've done so far. Um, it's a lot like in the tutorials, apart from it's got a loading screen, and I'm sh I'll be sure to make a video about that. and. In the setup.h, I've gone and hand drawn the characters, the objects, the clouds, and everything like that, so they're all in the different ones. And I've been using DB set sprite priority. And in the movement, I've done all the basic movements and done advanced gravity. As you can see in the game, it's very hand drawn and it's set sort of in the city. And you can see clouds behind, they move around, it's quite good. Um, and if we've got the basic movement of the guy, you can move left and right, and I've animated it. So he actually looks like his legs are moving. Um, there's an up and down level, and as I said earlier, that you can move objects around. This is the only object at the moment you can move around. And when you press down on the mouse, it moves around the box to the mouse mouse's position and um, I've put gravity in so you can jump up and then if you go over the edge then you fall down and you can jump back up it's not infinity jump you can move I think it's 50 pixels up and then you can move an added 6 pixels if you hold it on um, yeah, the moving objects, you can actually walk onto the moving objects if you jump on. And then if you keep jumping and you move up the object, then you can grow in height. If you move the object down, he falls down onto the object. If you move the object totally away, then he falls just completely down, as you can see. What I'm hoping to do is make this quite a big platformer where you have to move around and collect all the coins and stuff moving around different objects to help you get to your chosen route I'll be teaching you how to do all this in videos in the videos you might be thinking ah oh, this looks nothing like what I'm being taught in the videos but if you make your own pictures and make your box look like a building and another box look like a cloud then you can quite quite easily make these sorts of games with the codes that I've been teaching you. Hope you enjoyed my game and I hope you check back soon to learn how to make these sorts of games. Be sure to go through my tutorial series. Thank you. Bye.